Yeah, yeah, what is up guys? Welcome to Jaywalk Gaming. I'm Jaywalk13. Welcome to Sub Sunday Night Owls Edition. Uh, I was gonna stream earlier on today, but uh, I had so much shit to do. So uh, here we are. A little late start. But we did start Sub Sunday off on an early tip earlier this morning around 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So uh, here's the continuation of that. Uh, we're going to do a little Jackbox Party Pack, and then we'll hop into some Jackbox Party Pack 2. Then we'll do some Draw Fold 2, and then we shall end the stream with some Don't Starve Together, or Rainbow Six Siege. Maybe both. So I'll see if we can probably do maybe 30 minutes each on each one, and then uh, we'll go from there. So I shall... Let the stream start up a little bit until I start. So today is it's gonna be October third, so let's just round it to October third. We're literally four days away till Mafia three, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then how many days is that? Eleven days after that. For Battlefield 1 and then that's it oh actually last guardian but I'm gonna buy the last guardian October 25th but I'm not gonna play until after the holidays because we have so many games to play so that should be very very interesting um let's see While I wait for everyone to pile in here, I'm just going to make these links.
That's cool, Jonathan. Good to hear, man. That's Nothing what Sundays much. Just are for. Stay home and play some games. Sundays just chilling, relaxing, and playing games, man. I hear that. So what game is this? So this is Jackbox Party Pack. If you haven't joined Sub Sunday before, it's a bunch of games where you guys at home can basically just grab your phone, smart device, and you guys can basically play along live on stream. You don't need to buy anything. You don't need to have own it or anything. All you need is your phone. Go to jackbox.tv on your web browser, type in a room code, and you can basically join. So basically we choose one of these games that's right there and when we play it you guys can join along. It's pretty fun man. I'm just giving uh, people enough time to uh, join and then uh, we'll start it up. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, it's really fun, man. So if you want to play, man, stick around. It's a good time. MOG Crown, Epic Princess is in the house, MOG Kiss Mark. Hey, what's hey, up, gorgeous. Epic? Welcome to the stream, what's going on? What game are you starting with? I'm not too sure. 
Dude. I was gonna try to wait around to see if more people join, but there's no one here, man. So I might just not even do Sub Sunday. Yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up, guys? Uh, some Sunday, I don't know what's gonna happen today, man. I might just, uh, call it quits. No one's here. Um, I'd rather just go do my own thing. <coughs> That's why I don't really do sub Sunday anymore. No one's really interested in it. I'll give, uh, maybe... Five more minutes, see more people come in. If not, I'll just call it a night. Mafia 3 drops on October 7th. We are four days away. Are you ready? URL. Alright. 
which uh, guess I'll start one up by myself now. If no one uh, joins, I'm just gonna call it a night. Fucking tired, man. Super tired. Got a long day tomorrow. I'm excited for Watch Dogs 2. Yeah, Watch Dogs 2 looks good, man. I look forward to that. I look forward to it. We got Gran Turismo Sport and Watch Dogs 2 dropping on November 15th on the same day. So, we're gonna be very busy on that day. What's up, media? Welcome to the stream. How are you, bro? What's up, what's up, bro? How's your weekend going, buddy? So if you guys are interested in joining, all you gotta do is go to jackbox.tv, type in that room code, Hey, media, welcome. and join us. support. What's up guys, welcome to Jaywalk Gaming, I'm Jaywalk13, welcome to Sub Sunday on my stream. Uh, Sub Sunday is all about welcome the viewers, Sunday. the subs, so you guys are more than welcome to join. Those of you watching on PlayStation Live or on YouTube Gaming, come on down to Jaywalk Gaming. Uh, you guys can join us live on stream. We'll do it on Jackbox.tv. All you need is a smart device, telephone, laptop, iPod, iPad, or any kind of device in general. As long as you can see the stream and play at the same time. Type in that room code. Make sure you write the name that you use in the stream. And then uh, type in that room code and you're in. You're more than welcome. Make, your, make sure you are a sub of the channel and uh, you can get down.
Hey Joshua, welcome. Or Josh, do you want to uh, join us? Are you ready? URL. If you would love to join us, go to jackbox.tv, type in the room code, and you're in. playing drawful three players that means three full rounds of drawing come on let's go okay I'm sending a title to each of your devices something odd like crime dog or snow piercer draw a picture on your device that would have that title and when you're done hit send and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title so get to drawing Okay, let's get to the good part. Oh. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points mine's for every player that picks your answer. Yeah, mine's is pretty tough too. This one's mine right here. Good luck. think really inspired this drawing. about our writers. Good job. Now let's take a look at this one. Type in a convincing title now. Hey! 
Hey! Okay, here are your choices. What did everybody pick? Hey! Are we done with this one? It's I think we're done with this one. That's like so freaking weird. It's like something an axe murderer would say. It's raining heads. Nice job, oh. Jay. Let's do this one. Thank you. Here's everybody's picks. And no one got it wrong. That was so much fun. Let's do it again. Here are some more titles to draw. Thirty seconds. No one will ever see your picture. Ah! Ding, ding, Time's ding. <laughs> okay, weirdos. Let's take a look at your artwork. Call this weird. Oh. And now, this thing wants the topic. choices. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, who picked what? I should probably be saving good these job. drawings or something. Yeah, this one was a tough one. I don't know how to do it. It's a tough one. 
home. Okay, let's do this again. This one's no set topic. 45. Whoa. Well, well. 40. 35. There's no set topic on this one. 15. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! And here are your picks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Good all job. got it right. Don't get big heads about it. Good job. <laughs> all the scores are pretty close. Um. And our next weird doodle. Welcome to Sub Sunday. Pull up a chair and join in the fun. Let Sunday ah! Fun Day begin. Hey! And here are your choices. Ah! Hey! Hey! Here's everybody's picks. There you go. Maybe you're all too good at this game. Okay, one last batch of drawing titles headed to your devices now. are in. Oh man, I can't wait for you to see them. Um. And now this. choices. <laughs> what did everybody pick? Good 
job. Wow, everybody got that one. I guess we're gonna have to make these harder. <laughs> Okay, our next drawing. Hey! This is a close fucking game, man. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Here are your choices. Something. Hey. Here's everybody's picks. <laughs> and sometimes Yo, everybody so gets it right. Holy shit. Hey. 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 That was close as fuck. Oh. Let's take a look at our next piece of art. Okay, here are your choices. Hey! And here are your picks. Hey! Shit. <laughs> well, let's not waste any more time on this one. Oh boy, I think I just took the lead. Uh... Mm -hmm. Second drawful game ready to go. I've already sent your new titles to your devices. Water. Can you figure it out? Howdy, right, and so welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players in a game. At least 99, probably more. 99 people in one game, that's fucking nuts. That is fucking nuts. Do, 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 do. If you guys want to join us at home, just go to jackbox.tv, type in the room code, and join us. Alright, we got 
four people. Anyone else? We'll start up in like 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. More seconds. <sighs> All right, I'm starting it up. Here we go. All right, then. Before we get started, don't forget new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's proceed. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. Oh, Canadian question. A big chunk of Canada has less gravity than the rest of the world. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. The Sierra Club holds patents for several bulldozer designs. The Sierra Club? What the fuck? Who the fuck's the Sierra Club, man? Time's almost up, fuckers. The pork pie hat was named after porcupines. Oh no, I picked the wrong one. Fuck. I picked the wrong one. Damn it to hell. A British court ruled that Pringles are not legally potato chips. Putin's penis was put up for auction, but turned out to be a sea cucumber. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously? <laughs> Common mistake. The Ford Taurus is the most popular car among millionaires. Frank Sinatra co-wrote These Boots Are Made For Walking with Raul Dahl. Everyone stands at the end of round one. Yeah, yeah. Here are your new fact categories. Number two. Vampires. Keanu Reeves lived in Romania for a year to prepare for Bram Stoker's Dracula. House nuts. I'm not too sure who that is. Two students were arrested for converting Stanford's observatory telescope into a bong. Into a bong? What? That's a pretty big bong if they really did that. Welcome to Sub Sunday. Pull up the chair and join the party. Let Sunday Fun Day Bowling begin. balls were originally made out of wood. Nuts. Hey man, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hey, so yeah. Welcome, Welcome to Sub Sunday. 
Make sure you are a sub of the channel. You guys can join us. Dippin' Docs were originally games. called Dippin' Doinks. Sub. Show your support and hit the thumbs up, MOG thumbs up sign with light skin tone. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, MOG has to. Thank you. Your support means a lot. Oh, hi the there. state of Hawaii has no highways. Eddie Vetter is a part owner of Skechers. Eddie Vetter, no way. The Super Soaker was invented by a NASA scientist. Scores. Number one, me, I take princess number two. For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is words and the constitution. Are you kidding Some me? of these words really appear in the constitution. Others we're lying about. Separation of church and state. A misspelled Pennsylvania. Fucking kidding me? Erection. Let's time. party. <laughs> Freedom of speech. Democracy. Congratulations, Epic Let's see the media. final scores. Second and third. I'm number one. <laughs> Yo guys, make sure you use the names. Good job, Jay. Thank you, Epic. Thank you, thank you. Make sure you are a sub of the channel and you use the names that you use in chat so I know it's you.
Yo, whoever that dude is who's using nuts as his name, you're you can't play it. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are, but you're not welcome in the game. You obviously are not a sub. So you can't play it. You have to use the name that you have in chat, guys. Or you can't play, play in something. I think that person is probably a troll, I think more than one please. Welcome to the game. My name's Cookie, but if a detective visits you, I'm Brent. <coughs> Two players, huh? It's like arm wrestling, only, uh, okay, it's not like arm wrestling at all. Let's do this. <coughs> this is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. <coughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. Maryland's official state sport is blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool your opponent into believing it. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now.
Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and There's enter it on your device. Jousting. Jousting. This is a tough one. Either jousting. All right, let's see what everybody picked. What? What is it, jousting? Well, don't you feel foolish. You, I was gonna do jousting, too. And nobody fell for this one. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. On November 25th, 2013, a 16-month-old Chinese girl underwent surgery to remove the unusual growth of a blank in her ear canal. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, let's take a look. And we're done. Pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Walter Arnold received the world's first speeding ticket in 1896 for going blank miles per hour. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> he was, this is true, in a two mile an hour zone. So, serves him right. And that <laughs> means... It's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. There's a novelty museum in Arlington, Massachusetts that only collects food that has been blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which Welcome one's the truth? Pull off a chair and join in the fun. Let Sunday okay, Sunday the the day. Radioactive. <laughs> All right, who picked what? <laughs> And that's it. Nobody else's lies got picked. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. Edgar Valdez Villarreal, a notorious Mexican drug cartel leader, had the not-so-scary nickname La Blanc. Enter your lies now. Hurry, 
three. Hit the lie for me button if you can't think of something. All right, where's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. The correct answer, LOL. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Alright, pick a category. It's not hard. You know what, we'll just stick with this one. Okay, here's the question. William Shatner raised $25,000 for Habitat for Humanity by selling his blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right, who picked what? <laughs> and that means some of these didn't get picked. Fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Here's your final Fibbage question. About 180 miles south of New Zealand, at the coordinates 50 degrees, 36 minutes, 25 seconds south, 165 degrees, 58 minutes, 38 seconds east, lies this oddly named island. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Let's go with this one. Okay, let's take a look. Or as I call it, season six of Lost. And nobody picked the other lies up there. We shall wait. We'll do words by next.
word or a sentence using Rocket. Rocket Bunny is not a word.
statements that are real. Driving to a dirty pond is a sentence. Do you understand the game? Good try. Um, let's do one more. Let's mess with. Uh, this was a pretty good one. Uh, this one. Howdy, and welcome to Lie Swatter, the massive true or false trivia game. We can accommodate a huge number of players we'll in a game. One more so then, many uh, players, in fact, you may want to get the people at the Guinness Book game. of World Records on the phone. What's up, what's up, guys? Welcome to JWO Gaming, super late night stream. We're doing a little bit of Jackbox games. If you want to join us, just go to jackbox.tv on your smart device. Uh, type in your name, type in the room code, and you guys can join us live on stream. Make sure you are a sub of the channel, and uh, yeah. I'll give uh, a minute or two, and then I'll start it up.
started up me and you, man. All right, Stu. then. Before we get started, don't forget, new players can go to this website and enter this room code to join the game at any time. Let's play. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from the following fact categories. Tyrex is an anti-yawning medication. Use your device to pick whether you think the fact is true or a lie. Hippos can regrow their penises. What? No fucking way. The M on M&M's once held the world record for smallest printed letter. George Went is an Icelandic duke. The pilot episode of The Muppet Show was subtitled Sex and Violence. Yeah, right, never. <laughs> what? The Muppet Show? Casey at the Bat was ghostwritten by Babe Ruth. Fanta released a milky soda called Moo Moo White in Japan. Fanta? And here's where everyone stands at the end of round one. Well, here are your new fact categories. Miley Cyrus sponsors a charity that gives money to the Amish. You're right. Why would you give money to the fucking Amish? Wow. In 09, three men from NYC had bedbugs surgically removed from their urethras. Oh my god, I hope that's not true. Wow. Robert Downey Jr.'s goatee is insured by State Farm. <laughs> goatee? Get the fuck out of here. Gandhi was afraid of the dark. Uh, I'm guessing this one. Two. Yeah. He slept with the light on. Nine out of ten U.S. dollars have cocaine on them. Mike Tyson owns 3,000 pigeons. pigeons man. Thousands of Captain Planet VHS tapes were found dumped in the Amazon forest. Scores. Super fucking funny. For the final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is 666. Some of these evil facts of Dick Six are true, and some are evil lies. 666 people died on the Hindenburg. Ronald Reagan's street address after he was president was 666. If you 
add up all the numbers on a roulette wheel, you get 666. The town of Hell, Michigan is 666 feet above sea level. Dirt Devil originally cost sixty-six dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> what? Are you serious? The Dirt Devil vacuum? That's pretty cheap for a vacuum. You can spell devil on your calculator by multiplying six hundred and sixty-six times six hundred and sixty-six. Brett Favre broke his toe throwing his 666 touchdown. <laughs> Let's see the final scores. Close, close game. Very close again. Let's, uh, let's do another one of those. Let's uh, do one more for the road. One more for the road. Alright, if anybody wants to join, just go to jackbox.tv, type in the room code and join us. Do it, do it, this is the last game. Last one, last call for alcohol. Alright, here we go. It's time for another game of Lie Swatter. <laughs> You're going to see seven crazy facts pulled from these fact categories. The creator of Hungry Hungry Hippos lost his wife in a hippo attack. No way. White bread is illegal in Canada. What? White bread? No, wait. Tuesday the 13th is considered the unlucky day in Spanish-speaking countries. Yeah, I think I got this one wrong. I don't know. No. Yes. That was close. That was a guess. That was a straight-up guess. Green tea leaves are orange. There is a perfume that smells like old library books. This is a total guess right here. Gary Busey owns a chain of karate dojos. You're right. Gary Busey? 
Get the fuck out of here. Gary fucking Busey. The number one cause of death in seagulls is constipation. <laughs> what? And here's where everyone stands at the oh. end of round one. Yo, what's up, Magic? Welcome to the stream. How are you? What's good? Here are your next seven you guys do categories. Want to join me on stream, let me know. Those exposed to Chernobyl's radiation were advised to drink red wine. <laughs> Ten thousand words of the Oxford English Dictionary are credited to Shakespeare. Stalin had a piece published in Reader's Digest. Uh, this is a guess, I don't know. Some Crown Plaza hotels employ snore monitors to walk the halls listening for snoring. I wouldn't doubt it. This is a guess too. Astronaut cannot be divorced. Concrete furniture was one of Edison's less popular inventions. Liberation Front raised two hundred thousand dollars to metaphorically bail the Earth out of jail. The fuck? Two hundred thousand? Need more than that? You need more than that, Sonny? Wow. Here are your scores. Final round, all the facts will be about one category. That category is college mascots. Which of these are real college mascots and which are not? Beloit College friendly hobos. Hobos? Rhode Island School of Design, NADS. The NADS? Go NADS? The Go NADS? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what? Go NADS? That's funny as shit. Sonoma State University Enablers. Enablers. That sounds stupid as hell. No way. Well, I thought NADS was stupid. It was actually a truth. I don't know. That was a guess. Appleton School of Technology Luddites. The Luddites? Hmm. It's a guess too. The Luddites. Nebraska State Screaming Mermaids. North Carolina School of the Arts Fighting Pickles. No, 
really fighting pickles? Come on. What? Seriously? The fighting pickles? It's a real di- <laughs> You see Santa Cruz banana slugs. What? Where do they come up with these fucking mascots, man? Banana slug? What? That's fucking true? Get out, you over six. Oh my god. Good game, good game. Let's good see time. the final scores. That was funny. Absolutely. Let's do one more. Fuck it. Let's do one more. We go do this one. Startup game has been activated. We are on. Uh, attention, the new management has announced their thought for the day. Today's thought for the day from the new management is... Teamwork. Teamwork or you're fired. Thank you. Make up to set, please. But I get a 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 I just showered, but I still smell kind of funky. Did you remember to clean your entire body? Well, I mean, I tried, but there are so many body parts to remember. That's why you need the shower list. The shower list? A helpful list of all your body parts that need to be cleaned. It's just a little piece of paper. Yes, but it's waterproof. So I can take it in the shower. Let's see. I washed oh, really that. I washed it. that. I washed those. Okay. You don't yeah. have to install it, dude. Use the shower you list just and go never on your forget phone to wash your box or any TV other part of your body in the room ever code. again. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank shower list. Thanks, shower list. There's nothing to install now, or buy. Could you get out of my shower? Ooh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just passionate about the product. Get your phone, smart device, Introducing iPod, your face's new best iPad, friend. Laptop, Say goodbye to dry skin and wrinkles. Bye. Go goodbye. Uh, See ya. Browser, Say hello to healthy, radiant, TV. beautiful skin. Type well, hello the code, there. Oh, hey, okay. hi. Because you're never too old to look 10 years younger. Yes, please. Yes, please. All new virgin blood face mask. I can feel it working already. No harsh chemicals, just 100% all natural blood from a dying virgin. And a pinch of black magic. Shh, don't tell anyone. What price will you pay for youthful skin? Anything. 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 Kill her. Virgin blood face masks, only $10.99 a bottle. That's actually really reasonable. Okay. Virgin blood face masks. Just a quick reminder to ask Cookie if he's lost any weight lately, even though he clearly hasn't. So this telecommuting thing, I mean... Are people getting sick of Andy being on the TV? Shouldn't he be here? Well, I mean, that's why, I think, I mean, that's why I'm hoping this television thing works, because then, you know, once they can figure out how to get the the ions and the, the particles, and then you can, right, like in Star Trek, is that what you're talking about? No, he's just on the TV on a camera. He's not actually here. Right, but he's, it's part of the tele... He's trying, what they're trying to do is zap him. It, that's it. No matter who you are, you have dreams. I want to be an astronaut. I want to be a doctor. A dinosaur. And Angie's Ice Creamery wants to hear them. Come into any Angie's to tell us your dream, and you'll get a dreamsicle absolutely free. I want to be a teacher. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be a surfer. Here's a free dreamsicle. I want to be best friends with a horse. 
Here's a free dreamsicle. Is this what where we tell the dreams? It sure is. I'm standing naked, looking into a mirror. My face is not my own. A small fire burns besides me and I face it. A young calf slowly melts into the flames. It looks at me and speaks. This is what remembering does, it says. And then I'm in a field, it's raining. I cannot move my legs, but steadily I go forward. Through the tall grass towards a grave. I cannot read it, but I do not need to. This grave is mine. Then I wake up. Um, do you want a dreamsicle? Yes, I do. Yes, everything is pleasant now. What are all you kids looking at? <laughs> Angie's ice creamery. It's a dream come true. <laughs> My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face. You have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, Hello, but my class is. $50 for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Hello? I can't hear myself. I don't think it's working. Welcome to Sub if Sunday. I could have everybody who thinks they're doing a good job. Fun. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, show you some more guys. Show your support and give the thumbs up, and we'll do thumbs up sign with lights and turn. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, MOG Heart Suit. Okay. Yeah, almost. Thank you. Hello. Your support means a lot. Hello. No, I don't think it works. Yeah. Hey, gang. Have you felt tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Or isn't it time to hop to having the music festival that go darn plays Not real music that mature adults and grown-up older people like all of us you and you, you can know. enjoy? Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Park for Jaren Palooza. We got Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band, the Waltz of Alex, assorted Bob Hope impersonators, the sounds of the Price is Right, the Muzak Ramblers, Wind Chimes, Bingo, McDonald's Coffee, and a half dozen music boxes that play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2. So you have plenty of time to ski daddle on home before the drug dealers come out and deal their their drugs. Take it from me, old man. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down. Anton Jones was the greatest detective in the world. I noticed a gray speck on your jacket, which could only have come from a quarry upstate. Gentlemen, the murderer is the mayor. But after a terrible accident... We're right there on the street, dude. RTX. I'm afraid his body won't make it, but we can save RTX. his brainwaves. The greatest mind in the world now resides in a pocket calculator. Where am I? No! And with the help of a friend, he'll crack the case and and crunch some numbers. Don't you see, John? There's no way his wife could have killed him. That's great. But how much should I leave for this tip? Oh, uh, 15% of 2850 is, uh... From the producers of Tommy Gulch, Attorney Stripper, comes Calculator Jones P.I. Any last words, Calculator Jones? Boobs? <laughs> Boobs. Free! Police! I'll be back on the street in no time! Then I guess I'll calc... You later. Uh, has anyone seen Nate Shapiro? He hasn't come into the office in like 15 years.
I am Cookie Masterson, and I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. Like, we need to get moving now. Boy, you know what's odd? You all look like the middle child. You all take care of those screws now. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button, and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored Eye Drops. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize in serious cash. So why not get started? Get ready, time to fashion. Let's start with Eat, Pray, Die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? Time is short! Player two? Nobody picks that one. Player one. My controller. <laughs> Were you thinking of Your this controller. one? Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts plays in Pretty Woman. And almost all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes. So he'd probably have just loved to murder her. I can see it now. He'd open the box with his knife in it. She'd reach in and he'd playfully shut it, snapping her fingers. She'd laugh, he'd laugh, and he'd kill her. Hi, what are you using? Oh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. You don't need to tell you so. Hey, what's up, Andy? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Here we have. If I only had a brain trust. Welcome, welcome. Good to see Suppose you, the Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Witch before she finishes her points? Hello! Players one and three? Hey, remember when the Scarecrow says the Yo, sum of the square up, roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal AJ. to the square root of the remaining side? Yeah, he was actually wrong. So you guys have that in common. Remember when the Scarecrow says the sum of the square roots of any two doing, sides man? of an Thanks isosceles triangle is no equal to the square root of the remaining side? Yeah, he was actually wrong. So you guys have that in common. <laughs> Smart people choose this. A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. Dance with me, disco three. Hey Andy, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Here's what I like to call... Be getting naughty, and this dis or dat legs being tied up. Player one, your I'm score is the worst, so you're ball. gonna play this bad boy. Thank I'm gonna read off seven Thank names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the name of a sex position recommended by Women's Health magazine. If it's a necktie knot, press the square button. If it's a sex position, press the circle button. Now the rest of you listen up. Lock in your answers before player one, because if player one gets it wrong, everyone who got it right will split the cash. All right, let's get started. <laughs> the valedictorian. The Prince Albert. The Trinity. The Caboose. The Chairman. The Foreign Hand. You wear clip-ons, don't you? My usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie, alone in front of a mirror. Open wide for...
Shop till everyone drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Foot Locker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, Player 3, who gets your screw? You can't just leave your screw hanging out in the breeze like that. We'll try not to let that ruin the rest of the game. Player two? I'm so uh, close, man. Nah. So close. Player one. In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much-needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. <laughs> And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. Take a good look at... Okia Dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or Ikea, Nokia, and Kia headquarters are exactly the same distance apart. Player 2, Tan's so running out. Stuff, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. Tan, just appreciate that. Player 1. Thanks for in. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Player 3. No Kia, no Kia. Where's that confounded right answer? No Kia is based in Finland, and IKEA is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Whether it's phones, furniture, or cars, if it's got oh, Kia in the name, you know I it's gonna be cheap. Too, I mean, inexpensive, inexpensive. <laughs> That's round one. And player one is winning. Let's see if they stay there. Don't forget, in round two, all the cash is doubled. And don't forget about your screws. We don't want them getting rusty. Be a part of it and support us by hitting the. This one's known as muscle milk was a bad choice. Skipping the rest. Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Player one, who's getting player two? You've been screwed. You got five seconds. Ah, that's all she wrote. That's how you screw player one. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player one. Yeah, I can't wait for really? Halloween. Ah! This would have worked. Day, In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took place, you wouldn't be that interested in seeing it anymore. How about... Guess who's Dak? Dak again. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Send Daddy for Dada Dad me! Oh no, my old ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien! One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me! Billy, the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? No, I just got back from traveling the world, studying all the profound teachings of titular world spiritual leaders. For instance, which titular religious group was founded by someone with the last name of Smith? Protestants, Episcopalians, Trustitarians, or North? This game is so funny. This game is hard, man. Time's a wasting.
Player one. What a pity. <laughs> Want to see the right answer? The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In America. So, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the ones that treats the doubt reincarnation. Our Someday, I hope to come back as a beautiful coffee table. Magic, make sure you hit that thumbs up before you leave, dude. You never do. Thank you for joining us. Pull up a chair, grab a snack, Fuck her up for Orcas M-O-G 11. Hamburger, M-O-G taco, Say I wanted M-O-G to go around M-O-G. freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? <laughs> Time's almost up! Player one! Well, 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 look who's wrong now! Ah, the shit. correct answer is... There are three Sea Worlds. One in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on Only three separate three. rescue missions. Fuck. Well, that sounds like a lot of traveling. Maybe I'll just pay that kid from Free Willy to do it. Something tells me he could use the cash. This is kind of unbelievable considering... Here's a good one. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. No, most of the people that are substituting have work in school tomorrow, so... Sundays are really dead. The now. name of Jeff Dunham's purple skinned puppet. Kangaroo, Peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Watch your time! Player one. It's so obvious. His name is Peanut. I have to admit, people who talk through ventriloquist puppets kind of creep me out. Don't you talk through me? Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Oh, now you're creeping me out, man. And now, the midnight run to the bathroom. Andy Howe. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or, I have to do a number two in a one. Damn, I don't know this one. This one's hard. Watch your clock. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, well, this is gonna be a blast. Here's what a right answer looks like. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, two if by sea. And as we all know, a number but one I is P. On and Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're... Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. Here's your clue. This plus this equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? Good luck.
To six zero zero right, subs. Let's, uh, MOG Jack since you guys are in here, be a part of it and support us by hitting that sub button for more dope content. So MOG admission tickets. All you guys got to do is go to jackbox.tv, type in that room code, and you guys can join us I'm live on stream. Please make sure the name that you use is the name that you use in chat, so I know it's you. Yeah, don't, don't stand or use capital letters, Andy. Caps lock or you end up getting timed out. Warning. Yes, Drawful. Wait for me. Pre-ordered and coming soon, Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare Remastered Ghost Recon Wildlands out last 2 Friday the 1-3 the game. You can play Jackbox on the YEU lab. Well, yeah, man. Walk gaming. As long as you can open up a web browser, us, you can play. Grab a snack and join the fun. MOG hamburger, MOG um, taco, MOG Andy, Andy, why are you playing twice, dude? Yeah, 
Magic Panda XDD. Welcome to Sub Sunday. Pull up a chair and join Andy, I'm gonna ask you this question one more time. Sunday, Why are you Sunday, playing Sunday. twice, dude? But I can't send a pic cause the join button is covered. I'm confused. What are you talking about, dude? Sorry, Jay. <sighs> I'll start over, man. You can't play twice. It's cheating. Welcome to Jaywalk Gaming. Thank you for joining us, pull up a chair, grab a snack and join the fun. MOG hamburger, MOG taco, MOG beer mug. Like I'm playing this on the YEU. Alright guys, here we go again. Sorry to cause you trouble. You're right, you can scroll down. Mafia 3 drops on October 7, we are 4 days away. Are you ready? URL Hey! Panda. That's why. What's up? Welcome to Drawful. Three players? That means three full rounds of drawings. Let's do this. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something unusual. Like Rumpus Room or Shark Butler. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, start drawing. Go, now!
start that annoying 30 second timer now? You've been warned. Time's almost up. Bing. Welcome to Sub Bing. Sunday. Bing. 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 Ah! I have Sunday all your pictures now. Begin. Uh, okay, these are weird. Uh, let's look at them. Oh. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Is it tender? How come? Why is it horrible? Well playing on the way you hear portal. I've never played on the Wii U. How come it's horrible? I K R. It really is horrible. really inspired this drawing. J.I. can scroll down, and the send button is down below. Pick something! Huh, that's strange. That's what I need. There has to be a way, Panda. <laughs> Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare, Here's Remastered everybody's Ghost picks. Recon, <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> My pants are too pokey. <laughs> And now, this thing. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. No correct guesses. Ooh, that hurts. Type in your titles now. Mafia three drops are not 7. We are 40. 
Hey. Away. Are you ready? You are ready. Well. Like the freak. These are very interesting drawings, guys. Very interesting. <laughs> Here are your choices. Well, I thought it was obvious. Pull up I guess I was the only the one. Fun. Let Sunday fun day begin. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, I know you're pretty mad right now. <laughs> mad about what, man? I'm not mad about anything. Okay, get ready to draw again. The new titles should be right, on so your devices I'll now. I'll end the game right now, then. It's all good. Be back out. So I'll end the stream here. Go hop on some uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Yo, Andy, thanks for the sub, man. I really appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, normally on well, Sundays it's guys. really slow because yeah. uh, on the road everyone has school zero, and zero work subs. tomorrow, so no one really can get on this late. I stream pretty late. The sub button for more dope but I'm um, gonna go hop I'm on some Rainbow rest. Six Siege and. Okay. Uh, be Hi, back Jay. in like two minutes. Alright, Panda. Have a good one, buddy. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Andy, thanks for the sub, buddy. Thank you for joining also. Appreciate that, guys. Always appreciated. We're so Hi, close to uh, 600, man. Pretty Do excited. Not use caps lock or you end up getting timed out. Warning. I'll try to do more earlier streams since everyone has school and work. See if that works. Because normally when people do have school and work, they got to go to sleep earlier. So not a lot of people show up on the Sunday stream. So I'll try to stream a little more earlier next Sunday. Maybe that'll be better for everyone. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Those of you who did come by, thank you for the subs. And, coming soon. Infinite and uh, warfare, modern warfare, I'm just going to go switch over to another game. Wildlands Rainbow Six Siege. Friday, and I'll be right back. The game. Thank you. Thank you for the thumbs up, MOG thumbs up sign, with light skin tone in the subs, MOG heart suit. We appreciate all your support. MOG victory hand, with light skin tone, MOG OK hand sign, with light skin tone, MOG sign of the horns, with light skin tone.
Welcome to Jaywalk Gaming. Alright, let's switch over. Be right back, guys.